Hey there guys, Dex here, and welcome back to another episode of Asthma Diaries. Today is December 1st, and the first thing I should probably do is put all this furniture away, because, um... I was basically refurbishing some items. I've been basically on a badge run lately, which means I've been trying to get different badges, or, like, long-term anyway. Um, by that I basically mean I've been... <clears throat> going around the li the list and doing different things that'll get me some badges later on. Like, these are long-term. Like, I won't get these until 2020. Like, what? I won't get some until early 2023, till spring, till summer, till fall. But the whole point is to do a little bit of something every day, and then after that, I'll get the badge for it. And then we're gonna basically see where we go from there. That's basically the whole plan from there. So, yeah. Today it was supposed to rain where I, where I live, too, so... Um, it actually didn't do that. Or, wait. Today it was supposed to snow. That's right. It, it, it's raining pretty hard outside right now. Today it was supposed to snow where I live. A lot. But, sudden, but um, the weather kept on changing, and because of that, um, it's now just gonna rain all day. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, the point of today's video is to try and find a string fish. But first, we have some other things we need to catch. And why am I trying to find this, you ask? Well, I just need to find three more kinds of fish. And when I do, I will have completed my fish encyclopedia. So that's why it's very important that I get this done, basically. So yeah, we're just gonna walk around the beach until we find something. All right, I think I found it, guys. I think it's this one right here, if I can just align this correctly. Oh my goodness, okay. Come on, look over here. There we go. There we go. And there we go, that's the sea butterfly. It's basically just a glowing fish. And you can see it's brand new, okay. So that's one of the things we're gonna find. The next one should be relatively easy to catch. It's called a pond smelt, and it starts appearing in December. So all we gotta do is really go up here, and we should find one very quickly. Okay, well about, like, a minute later, we found this, so hopefully this is it. Nope, that's not it. Hopefully it's not like we catch, like, ten of those before we find what we're actually looking for. That would suck. Let's see if it's this one, then. Nope, it's not this one either. It's another Crucian Carp. Oh boy. This is gonna be a start of something interesting. Nope, this is not it either. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take quite a while, I think. Let's try this one then. Oh, there we go. All right, I caught a pond smelt. It could sure use a bath. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. All right, there we go. That's the 70th fish we've caught. Now, or the 71st. Um, <clears throat> but there's still one missing, as you can see by down here. And the last one that is missing right now is the string fish. And it is a very rare fish that will likely take quite a long time to find because it's worth about 15,000 bells and it is a size 6. So as you may figure, something like that's going to take a long time to find. So thus begins our journey to find the string fish. Um, so yeah, or I probably shouldn't say we continue just yet, but I should take a general look around. This will probably take a while. I am uh, fishing around the right time. It is about 4 22 p.m. They start appearing at 4 p.m. The only other issue I have is that I can't really tell size 5s and size 6s apart, so I'm worried I'm gonna run into like a size... a, a pike 
which is a size 5. I'm gonna catch that instead, and that would suck. But, you know, we're getting there. Um, I'm hoping f um, when we do find it that Phineas comes today and we can get the badge right off the bat. Otherwise, I'll probably just wait until the next episode for us to get the actual badge. Which, I think the next episode will be... Sunday or Monday. It depends on my workload. I do- I, I have finals coming up because it's gonna be the end of the semester. So, I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, let's just keep looking around and hopefully we find one sooner rather than later. Because it's- because remember, it seems that, like, whenever we actually attempt to look for something, then it takes ages to actually find that thing. Most of the time, anyway. So, let's do another save and continue, and let's see how long this takes. Alright, it's now 4.30, which means I've been searching for this thing for, I would say, a good... Um, 10 minutes or so. Which, you know, is to be expected. Um, I should probably get out of this wetsuit, though. Um, cause... I don't really need it on right now, so... Guess I'll just... Put that there, and there we go. Perfect! Now we're all set. Alright, it's been about 20 minutes, and I have it- Oh my gosh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That might be it. Hold on. Is that it? Or is it a pike? I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. I, I think that's it. Yes! Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, I got a string fish. My theory really paid off. Alright, well, <laughs> there we go. There we have it. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Huh? Does that mean that- Yippee! I caught every type of fish! Alright, we've finally done it. Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna donate everything we just caught. Um, oh boy. I was not expecting after saying that 20 minute thing that we would find it immediately after. So, definitely didn't take as long as I thought it was going to be. I said uh, I was thinking it was gonna take like an hour to like two hours max, but didn't take as long as I thought. Wakey, wakey, blathers, I got some important donations for you. Alright, so I'm gonna make two... I'm, I'm gonna make... I'm just gonna, to be safe, make two donations at once, but then I'll donate the stringfish by itself. Alright, now we're gonna donate the stringfish, and... Here you go, take it. Woohoo! A stringfish, is it? The stringfish reminds me of a time when I was still in my baby feathers. Ah! I beg your pardon, I was about to go on a tangent there. Anywho, I promise we will take good care of it here. We'll display it later with a detailed description, so please come back to see it anytime you like. Thank you very much. Uh, he was supposed to say that the fish collection is complete, but... Nope, it looks like we actually have everything, so I think I made a mistake. So it turns out that... We have to complete the sea creature collection, too, in order for him to say anything about it. But, yeah, we basically have the entire collection of fish done, including the string fish, which we just caught. So, yeah, that's basically brilliant. Um, I don't think Phineas is coming today, um, because I did manage to send 50 letters, total, to residents around town. So, I don't think he's gonna be here today, but I can check around. But, um, ho but I don't think so. One thing I forgot to check was the paintings I had at the museum, too. Because one thing I can do, or one thing that I can do right now, as a matter of fact, is go... I hear something, I hear someone walking, but where? No, that's just Coco. Well, what I was gonna say is I can go in here and buy a painting. I just hope I don't- I just don't want to buy duplicates, because I keep on doing that. Oh ho! Welcome to my gallery! Come in and see some art! Oh boy, cousin, when was the last time you were here? Well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. I'll tell you, this week's items are as rare as they come. I'm almost green with envy that, um, I can't buy them all. But remember, we sell only one item per- per customer, so make your choice very carefully. Okay. Um, real quick, I'm pulling up a forgery guide because I'm not good at determining genuine paintings myself. Okay, so let's start off with this statue right here. Whoa! I see got eyes only for that beautiful statue there. I see it has eyes for you too. 
I must say, that's quite amazing. So between you and me, I'm selling it for just 3,920 bells this time and this time only. What do you think? You want it? Um, I think the hair was to the shoulders. Uh, yeah. That means it's fake, so we're gonna skip that and... Let's see, which one is this? Oh ho, am I mistaken? Because I see you looking pretty close at that gallant statue right there. Well, I would be t if two if I were you. Uh, if art fanatics like us, we can spot a true gem of my all. Maybe two. You're in luck, because nobody's got to this one yet, so I'm still able to give you a bargain at 3,920 bells. Wait, what would I do if I sold it for a loss? That's crazy. How can that be good business sense? Okay, so... If there's a cloth hanging down the right side of his shoulder, is it is fake? If his right shoulder is bare, it is genuine. I gotta look at that. The right side of his shoulders. Um... Um, I'm thinking that's fake. It it doesn't mention my right or its right, so... Uh-oh, you're interested in that amazing painting, too? Well, it's impossible to mask the raw intrigue that surrounds such a piece, so it can't really be helped. Fortunately, you're the first to get it, making you rather fortunate. Just because I like you, I'll sell it for a low, low price of 3920 bells. So let's look at it. If the man in white is left of the man in black. It is fake. This is fake. Okay. Alright, and then this last one right here. Well, look at that! You've noticed that neutral painting? No, wait, I see it now. You're the kind of buyer who saves the best for last, aren't ya? Well, that's my fault, since I have no choice but to give in now that you found this amazing piece. The truth be told, Pot of Heart, I'm selling it for the unbeatable price of 3,920 bells today only. I can assure you, you'll never have another chance like this one. Um, what do you think? You wanna buy it? Uh, let me look. I completely forgot the name. If the leaf on the top has a hole in it, it is... fake. Well, that's fake too, then. Okay. My thoughts are this. Um, that this is real, because, um, I'm wondering if it's his right shoulder, or, you know, um, <laughs> like, because I've been wondering if it's, like, his right shoulder, or the right shoulder to the, like, other side. Um, okay. Alright. Um, so it looks like this is actually the real one. I see. It seemed to be really close to that gallant statue, yeah? Based on my experience, only the biggest suckers walk away from a once-in-a-lifetime bargain like this. I dare to say no something... No to something this nice at a price that's crazy up 3,900... Th oh my gosh, I cannot speak. 3,920 belts. Straight up there. I'll take it. Whoa, really? What a shock! Well, obviously, you'd have to be as crazy as me to pass it up. Let me just get that sweet, sweet payment, and it will be all set. Okay, got it. Well, then I'll mark this gallant statue as a sold item. Everyone else is out of luck. And then everything about making sure my mailbox is empty. Um, the issue is my mailbox is always full because I'm sending letters to my residence in order to get a letter badge. So, you know. That's probably one of the issues. Yeah, it's a little kind of dark back there, isn't it? I mean, look at that. See that? I, I'm kind of wondering that. It kind of reminds me of the rare sunrise, where it gets all, like, purple and stuff. It's kind of this bluish purple back there, so... That's what's making me think for a moment or two. I can't use the megaphone to call for Phineas to see if he's here either, so... Oh, you know what I can do? I can go to the police station and ask them. That's one thing I got going for me, so... Chances are, they're probably only gonna say something about Crazy Red right now. But let's go ahead and see anyway. If they bring it up twice, then that means he's not here, and I'll have to wait another episode for him to come. And then I'll get the badges from there. Hey there, Booker. He hello Is, um, there something I can help you with? Anything unusual? Well, I'm considering the day and time right now. I think Red's gallery is open for business over in the event plaza, most likely. Okay, then we ask him again to see if there's anything else. Well, um... Phineas is not here, apparently. It's it's a little odd, because um, sometimes he appears immediately after you get something, or he, like, decides, eh, I'm gonna wait a day before I actually go anywhere and do something. So, I guess we're gonna have to wait until the next episode to talk to him and get the badge, but yeah, we've basically completed the fish collection. Now, up next is the bug collection, which should be completed um, by the time there's snow on the ground. That's basically the gist of it anyway, um, so yeah, um, thank you um, why did that happen? I literally just wanted to pick up those. Okay, um, <sighs> thank you guys for watching, 
Be sure to comment and subscribe if you would like, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.